Chris is going to share his story because Amen. Not, not too many people can come out of death row. Amen. Not too many people can share this kind of experience. There's people right now that, that we know that are still locked in. They ain't never coming home. Never. And so whether you take this as a warning, as a love, an olive branch of love to your spiritual life, for those who haven't been to church for a year or two, don't take it with a grain of salt is what I'm saying. Amen. Listen to the wisdom. Listen to the heartbeat of this. We didn't come to do a concert tonight. We came to do um, an edification through preaching, a little bit through worship. We came to serve God tonight. We Amen. didn't come to entertain. But once again, if you work the word, the word will work in your life. Now, when I got off death row, I didn't get out of prison. I still had 36 years I had to serve. Can't nobody take care of you like God take care of you, no matter where he tell you to go. As long as you're obedient and do what he tells you to do, man, he got you. You might see some things you don't like. You might hear some things you don't like. But guess what? It ain't going to come near you, man. A thousand to fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but nothing going to come near you. You might see it, but it ain't going to harm you. But once again, if you work the word of God, the word will work, man. That book right there is the only book to bring itself to pass in the whole world. No other book can bring itself to pass but the Bible. That's it, man. But I didn't realize it. Here a little, there a little. You don't start off on doing nothing on top of building the well and the grave. Everything else is from the bottom up. If you don't think so, you'll learn it in life. You don't start off on the top doing nothing. But once again, digging a grave or digging a well. Everything else, bottom up, man. Hard work, man. Hard work build character in a sore back, but it'll get you where you need to be if you stay faithful in a real way. Because these young people now, they, they want you to give them some. They want to pop pills and play video games and think you're going to take care of them. 